well, you can't see because the lights are the wrong shade here, but um, basically um, I've had to make a decision around color. And I've got the darkest color is the carpet, and then the next darkest color is probably the seat fabric, the dark uh, navy blue. The next darkest is probably the handles, and then the door cards, and then some of the other pieces. I've got different um, levels of, um, of, of sort of deepness to them. Um, this I've painted today again and I've decided that uh, and I've painted this previously here this this is the backing for the seats and um, it's not perfectly the same as the door cards but it's close it's fairly dark uh, it's a nice I don't have the seats here with me today but uh, it's a nice sort of um, contrast it's as I said the cameras just not picking the colors up very well but uh, I've decided I'm staying with the um, the midnight blue tint that I'm already been using. I'm not gonna try going a different color. So that's that's gonna be, you know, basically all of these panels are going to be re-sprayed, and the the rear deck lid that's actually uh, black. Uh, uh, it's a very fine uh, short fiber uh, carpet. So I've recarpeted the back deck lid on. And that's black right now, and I'm gonna have to recolor that in the same same color. So you know, what's interesting is that you can you can go and look at all these different pieces of plastic from the factory, and you can flip them upside down. And you can see what they look like, you know, behind. Um, and some of them have got more of a bluish, medium bluish tint than others. Um, depends on the type of plastic and, and and its location in the car, but you gotta kind of roll the dice a little bit and say okay what am I going to do and I've decided I'm going to stick with the the color matching I've already got with the um, fair bond which um, it's really like another layer of plastic when you spray that on if you do it properly it uh, it bites in pretty aggressively and uh, it's flexible enough um, but it's gonna be really tough and a really high quality finish so um, that's what I'm end up doing I'm gonna spray the dash and everything else so I'm over the hump on this one what I'm going to do with this guy is because I'm running the digital dash I want to have this so I can drop it in um, when the car is stationary uh, just so it has the original look to it so this is not the original one this is one I bought on, the, on eBay um, the original one the owner had put a silver you know, he, he, he was a sign making guy and he, and he did his own custom dash which is fine but it's not what I want so um, I'm going to just take this apart and just get the, the dial face and make a very thin plate with a, a clear Lexan cover uh, on it that I can then literally just drop in or take back out uh, just for show purposes. It's not going to be operational, but I thought I would have this so I can have the digital dash in behind. And when I'm using the car, obviously the digital dash is, is, is the way I'm going to go. Um, with analog gauges, I'll have the digital dash. Um, I'll do all the software to, to make it look uh, very, very old school. Um, but then to make it completely look original, I'll have uh, this in a thinner, thin panel version. I can just sort of slide in and take back out. So that's the theory, at least.